the extended version. Did I just say virgin? <laughs> couch, several months into being intentionally single and celibate for the first time since I was 20 years old. 20 years old, which was the last time I believe sex had to involve a dick that wasn't my dick. <laughs> Thank you for laughing at that. Most audiences have not. and she can fit onto her tongue and says, what if you are the love of your life? <laughs> I think, oh my God, I hope that's not true. <laughs> because I am absolutely not my type. <laughs> For example, the last time an astronaut told me she needed more space, I dropped my pants to the floor in the grocery store, hoping I could moon her and stay. <laughs> I spent so much of my life trying to prove I was enough, trying to prove my sky is no Hollywood, my stars are not just acting, to prove the twinkle in my eye isn't an infection. I can look in almost any direction and say, that's the way to go. But I've learned this is how to stay, skipping moon rocks across my own puddle dive, even when I've been clipped from the mothership so I can still say, I bet you smell like butterfly, but I bet you dream cocoon. And I bet you never say the word fuck, but we all know you do. <laughs> my heart is a runway. I've been staring at the sky since my love took off. Will you be my friend? Will you pull me a porch stick? Will you punch me in the tuck just once? I'm ready to reset my bones, ready to swing set my rib cage so the next time somebody pushes me away, I will swing right back to that chisel with my marble spine. Go ahead, build me. Do you ever think about God's ears? Wonder if the levee broke with prongs. Wonder if the wrecking ball was trying to run its fingers soft across the bricks, but its head was just too heavy. Before you become my friend, picnic with my rubble, road trip with everyone I left in the dust, did the laundry from the last time I was loaded, how she found my trigger, and we woke with the sheep pulled above our heads, praying the mortician could make us pretty. Y'all, none of us are pretty, but our ugly has an alibi. And our gorgeous has a baby sister, a sand collection, or two harmonicas we keep blowing off with that flute we carve from our wrists. Put your lips here. Tell me there is music in my blood. And tell me there is more in my life. Hang me chandelier. From the last night, I believe this life had to hurt so much. I am done kneeling in the church of steeple smokestack, then stargazing my own train crash. Give me wind sprints. Tell me my fingerprints are the shape of ripples on a frozen lake. Tell me my coal mine will never collapse on my heart. I'll tell you, these poems, they are my birthmarks. And I came this close to having them removed. I even kept a voice box cutter hidden in my shoe the day her flight took off. But the runway, it's made of marble, made of gush, made of windmill, made of salt. And there is a sea of hope chest in every word I speak, praying to be open with a knife with its belly full of yield. Pull the shield from my wingspan. Teach me what a candle wax says thank you to the flame. Tell me how your mother says your name like an orchard going bloom, y'all. A doctor once told me I feel too much. I said so does God. That's why you can see the Grand Canyon from the moon. We are a telescope of riverbed. We are empty lock. It's melting into gold. We are hearts breaking bread. Fold me in your napkin pole. Fold the tinsel from my hair. From all the past that could not let go. My gills are adjusting to the air. The story has 
healed from my bones, my bones, from the storm of our tears, dripping from the faucet, tick, tick, ticking, like a metronome. I know there was better music, even in this cabin full of fever. Tonight, I'm catching nothing but the lightning bugs. My body is a mason jar, transparent as a jellyfish. I wish for a heart you can see straight through, for a voice that glows in the dark. And a few really good friends, like all of you, to skip these moon rocks, too.